So welcome back to another episode of Mandy and Carlton and the ICF New Build. Now, down in uh, Devon, the build is really cracking on. So let's go over to Mandy and see what's been happening recently. The end of another week, Sunday the 6th of September. Um, yesterday, Aidan and Carl battened off the garden office down there, ready for cladding to go on it. That's going to be um, clad with timber. That little building down there is um, built out of Nudura ICF as well. So it's the same construction method as a house. So it's a lovely warm little office um, in the garden down there. And that will have, that's got power and um, cabling so that you can get internet access down there and everything. So it's a really versatile little space. Um, the other thing that they that Carl and Aidan did yesterday was they started putting the, the posts in for the screening that will go up here by the house. Uh, we had a, an EPC um, done before we started the build, build. that was part of our um, building regs application and um, we have an indicative EPC of B and also in order to get our sign off at the end of the project um, we'll have to have the um, EPC assessment looked at again to make sure that everything that was on that EPC for example the types of insulation and the amounts of insulation and all sorts of other stuff that was on that to make sure that we've actually carried that out during the construction phase but the other thing that we have to do is have an air tightness test done and that's why we've been diligently going around to making sure that everything that has been drilled has been filled. Chris from Tarka Tiles laid tiles on the floors downstairs in the hall down there and the utility and the bathrooms. And if I take you down and show you, the tiles that he's laid down here are 600 by 600s. They're Spanish tiles and they came from um, Stone Superstore online. Um, I found hundreds and hundreds of tiles online. Got lots of samples as well, but decided on these and um, they were sent down, delivered down by Stone Superstore. And they came in at the, the princely sum of £14.90 per square metre plus fat and delivery which is quite an incredible price considering what you can pay in the likes of Topps Tiles and the other tile stores that have very little choice. So this is the hallway going through to the family bathroom. So there he's done the walls and the floor and Dan and Mac were in the plumbers during the week as well and they set up the bath and plumbed that in. They've also plumbed in the boiler upstairs and the hot water tank. Oh, one thing I forgot to say, one big change. Outside last week we had the carport concreted. Guys managed to get in and um, put the steel down and get it all ready with the shuttering and everything and uh, we had concrete poured in here so that's gone off nicely. So now we've got a nice concreted carport. The carpenters are back on site and they have fitted the vanities in the bathrooms. There's one of them there. Um, but the big change inside this week is upstairs, which I will take you and show you. And that is the kitchen. Ta da! So, this is the kitchen from Home Sweet Home in Barnstable, Joe and Laura. They supplied it and it's come down from Wales, I believe, um, Masterclass Kitchens. It's in graphite grey, so we've got an island in the middle and then this nice built-in section over here with the double ovens. Phil, Paul and Ian, the carpenters, fitted out the utility room with matching units there. Monday Andrew came back, Andrew Dodden, and he did a second fix on the MVHR. So 
The octopus that's been hanging out of the ceiling for months now is installed into all of the um, silver distribution boxes up there that you can see and then down through the silencers into the MVHR unit which is hanging on the wall there. That's a vent axio unit. Um, the carpenters had a look at it last week and we've come up with a plan for what we can put in here with regard to kitchen units and how we can um, tidy this all up but still get access to that unit because we'll obviously have to clean out filters and change filters um, when that starts running. So we've got um, the lights going in, sockets and switches on the walls and all of the bits and pieces in the cupboard under the stairs for the underfloor heating in there so Jeff and Liam were in fixing all that off and you might notice we have some doors this is the one odd door in the house which is just a ply door which um, the carpenters cut down to size to fit that uh, awkward shape under the stairs which most people have and they've also been putting in the skirtings, architraves and they hung all of the interior doors and door furniture, handles, locks, everything else. So they're all on now. The plumbers were also on site um, for half a day last week and they started to um, cut out all of the holes in the vanity units here and in the other bathroom ready for the template templators to come in next week fitted off this basin in here which I've been having nightmares about for months now because I didn't know whether we'd actually get a door to open when we had a basin on the wall and this all comes back to first fixed carpentry where instead of a finished width of a thousand mil or one meter wide this um, stud wall went up and it ended up being just shy of a metre and everything in here has had to be squeezed to fit in so we couldn't have a metre wide shower tray we had to go 900 um, yeah all those sorts of things which you don't think will matter but they do when you come to second fixing so we've got a toilet fitted in here and again um, some um, the new heat thermostat there and that's a boost switch for the MVHR because the MVHR will be running 24-7 and that means that um, we've got these um, vents in the ceiling and that, that will be pulling out the moist warm air from the bathroom um, and then when you're in the bathroom if you want an extra bit of ventilation in there you can just hit that boost switch 